Let's get a look Let's move with, on. Uh, with Scott. I hope you didn't see any of that. He and Jeff McDaniel are in the weather garden. You know, there's one thing that is worse than snakes, in my opinion, uh, and it's not <laughs> Jeff McDaniel. I don't know if you thought I was about to say Jeff. That's not what I was going to say. We're out here in the weather garden with Jeff. He's here from FastFit. Now, we are talking about the difference between planks and push-ups. You're here to guide us through that. We'll talk about core training. However, you want to bit a great intro. Welcome back to the Vine. I'm Six Pack Scott. Six Pack here. Scott. That I would be that. great. Someone uh, type that in on the lower there. third there. That would the be super. Nice. Six Pack Scott. So planks and push-ups. That's so, fake news, Jeff. Is <laughs> <laughs> so planks and push-ups, kind of like siblings of the same exercise family. Okay. They have some subtle differences. One big thing uh, as you step back here, one of the things we say in our gym is body weight before heavy weight. Okay. Uh, meaning you really need to master like the foundational exercise with your body weight before you start adding bands and bells and balls and all those okay. other things. Now. Other fitness professionals, coach trainers are going to hear that and disagree. That's okay. Sure. I just believe that this is the foundation and then you build from that, right? Okay. So planks and push-ups. Am I going to you know, demonstrate or you I, want to? Oh, no. I'm game. Your game? It, okay. This was part of the deal. I didn't have to look at the snake inside if I came out here and did physical activity. I'm glad you told me. I'm glad I'm out here. Oh, then. Lord. Could you imagine? My okay. heart rate's already up. It's like pre-workout. Just look at a video We're in a metabolic uh, situation already. <laughs> So okay. before we get down here on the ground, All right, what am I doing? Planks a plank and push-ups. Push okay, let's talk about the difference. Okay. Uh, a plank basically can be here, but can also do what's called a short lever plank on your elbows, okay. up on the hands. A push-up obviously is pushing up. Let's just kind of break it down real quick. Okay. What are the benefits? Plank is going to be more core emphasis. Okay. Shoulders, more upper body shoulders, triceps, and chest. Okay. okay. Both are good, and we're going to talk about that. But let's put you down first into a, a, okay. a plank here. All right. And I'm going to get you. Uh, let's swing you around this way so the fine people can see. Oh yeah. Put your elbows right here. Actually, come right here. I'm going to put you down your oh, forearms. Forearms, okay. We didn't, we didn't practice this, by the way. No. Okay. All right, so he's in a nice plank position. This would be what's called a short lever plank on the elbows. Now come up onto your hands. So a little bit different situation. Longer lever requires more shoulder stability and all that. Now, relax. Come to your knees right relax. there. Relax. I hate okay. when someone tells oh, me to relax. Oh, you want to do a couple push-ups? Oh, right. yeah. Yeah, let's do push-ups. Okay. What are we doing? Now, one thing about this, just a two-minute plank. One of the things we have all of our new members, okay. they do a jump start program. Yeah. It's to set a goal for the first three months, regardless of what weight loss they have, okay. is to do a two-minute plank. Two-minute plank. Now, at the beginning, they may I just did four minutes. That was, you just lost track of time. That was like 40 seconds. <laughs> Uh, now, some people may start off with only 40 seconds, okay. and that's all they can do. Sure. Great. What you can do is tomorrow add a second, the next day add another second. Every day you're practicing a plank, and you're adding a second of strength every day. Okay. And within 12 weeks, people always work up to that. Here's a great side benefit. You're practicing the plank. You know what starts to happen? You start to make better decisions on your food. You start focusing on sure. your health more, and good things happen just from practicing a plank. Now, let's talk about the push-up here. Okay. Let's get you back. Let's swing this way. Oh, so okay. So you can see it up on your hands. All right, so this is a great push-up hold position. I would say for people, push-ups are really hard. You can obviously elevate your hands up on a, a box or bench to make it easier. But being able to hold this for like a full minute, thighs tight, abs tight. He wants to kind of like round his back at the top to really get that good protraction of the shoulders. And work up to where you can do 60 seconds of this before you actually do the push-up. Now demonstrate to good people how you do push-ups. Oh, well, a good demonstration yeah, or good how demonstration. I do it? Yeah, good demonstration, see what you got. Now that's good. See, lead the chest to the floor, he's nice and tight, gives one I more. I better stop this. while I'm ahead. Yeah, you're, you're a little wobbly here, let's check <laughs> one more. One more, one more, oh, there we go. All Ashley, right, cue the snake videos. Ashley, take it away. Woo! Hurry, before I have to keep going. <laughs> All right, let's get you up here. 